The runners weren't the only ones adapting to the cancellation of the Twin Cities Marathon. Businesses in the area were preparing for tens of thousands of people, but the cancellation changed that for some. WCCO's Jason Rantala has the impact of the last minute decision to call off the race. Doing good. Go Conrad. While some runners drew cheers for pushing through the conditions. You're good. The cancellation of the Twin Cities Marathon. So usually on race day, we're uh, fairly busy. Meant different things for different businesses. I would say it brings a lot of people from out of town. Uh, they're really excited about the race. Employees at the French Hen Cafe say past marathons have brought in hundreds more people to their Cathedral Hill restaurant. With the race getting canceled. Yeah, definitely, definitely a difference. They say they noticed some of their traditional crowd. But it's just not the same. Since that race was canceled, uh, we had far less traffic, uh, far less people from out of town, and I think they decided to head home. Just down Selby, employees at the Gnome Craft Pub say they had no difference in business Sunday. Yeah, I think for small business in the area, um, we got a little more than we expected. The hi hat opened just nine weeks ago, so they didn't know what to expect as far as crowds. They anticipated the marathon would actually hurt business due to Summit Avenue being closed for the race. But because of the cancellation... With the, the road opening up, we actually were busier, I think, than, than we expected. Back along Snelling... You got this! Race fans are just hoping it's a little more temperate next year. And it's a beautiful day, just maybe a little too hot to run a marathon. <laughs> In St. Paul, Jason Rantala, Woo! WCCO News.